Hey friends, it's Danielle with Take Care Mama and today I'm going to be talking about my June TBR. I think first of all, first of all we'll talk about The Midnight Library by Matt Haig. I meant to read this in May and actually got about halfway through. I had it on my Kindle through Libby and my, my time ran out before I could finish it. But luckily my library had the hard copy. So I'm about halfway done. I'm gonna finish this month hopefully. This is about a, with no spoilers, a woman who dies and in between life and death visits a library. And in that library are books of what her life could have been if she had made different choices. And so she gets the opportunity to discover and visit what those lives would be like. Halfway done, I have to say, I think my expectations for this book were so high that I'm a little disappointed, but we'll see how it goes. I'm just not exactly vibing with this book and I'm not quite sure why. But hopefully I'll finish it this month and I'll be able to better articulate my feelings. I'm reading The Genius of Birds. This is a nonfiction by Jennifer Ackerman. I'm borrowing this from my sister-in-law. It was up at the cabin and my husband and I are obsessed with birds right now. I think COVID has brought a new emergence of bird watchers. I don't know if I'd quite consider myself a bird watcher, but we've had fun in our backyard getting different feeders and different bird food and bird seed and kind of seeing who and what we can attract. If you follow me on Instagram, which I'd love to be friends with you on Instagram, we had a nest of robins right under our desk deck and so I could put my phone on top of the slats and observe them every day and take fun videos. The babies just left the nest yesterday and so that was so fun. We're into birds. I saw this at the cabin and I'm really excited to learn more about these little dinosaurs. One sec, one of the books is downstairs. I have The Witch of Portobello by Paolo Coelho. I've already read 100 pages because we're filming this on the 3rd of June, so I've cracked this open. I found this at the Goodwill and I read The Alchemist earlier this year and loved it. I drank it up. It's kind of like a modern day myth and I'm into myths right now and it was beautiful and spiritual and new age-ish, just right age-ish, right up my alley. And this so far is really similar. I might like this better than The Alchemist. The Alchemist protagonist is male, it's very masculine. This so far is very feminine. We have Athena as the main character and it's just a different vibe that I'm vibing with. Yeah, Norma. Okay, I'm gonna talk about three books, okay? And then I'll come help you, all right? Okay. Three more books, you guys. A Man Called Uwe. I think I'm saying this correctly finally, but I could be wrong for the hundredth time. This is by Frederick Backman. I actually know nothing about this book, but kind of like the last one, I read his book Anxious People earlier this year, and it's my favorite book I've read of the whole year. So I'm really excited to see what this is about and a little nervous because my expectations like the midnight library are quite high i really really loved anxious people i've recommended it to so many people Ooh, i'm so excited for kristen hannah's the four winds i've never read kristen hannah but i know she is a favorite of many People. This is historical fiction. It's giving me the Grapes of Wrath vibes. It takes place in the Dust Bowl during the Depression. That's what I know. I've watched some reading vlogs of this and there were tears, many tears. And then lastly, 
If you've been following along on my reading journey this year, I've been new to Stephen King. I think the first Stephen King I read ever was last December or November. And I really like him, so I've been challenging myself to read one Stephen King a month. And this month, I'm going for a classic. The Shining. I got this for Mother's Day from Phil and the Kids. And I have seen the movie, <laughs> though it's been... Oh, you need milk? Anyways, I've seen the movie The Shining, Jack Nicholson, but it's been so many years that all I really remember is red rum. And I'm really excited to read it. And like I said, it's a classic horror. I haven't gone too crazy on the horror side of Stephen King. I know that's what he's like known for, but really he's written so many books and so many different genres. So this is the first one that I'm reading that is like, I don't know, it's classic Stephen King. What else can I say? So those are the books I plan to read. We'll see if I stay on task with these books. I might add one or two more nonfiction to listen to on Libby. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a comment below and let me know what you are reading right now or if you have read any of these and what you thought of them without any spoilers, please. Thanks again. Have a wonderful day. Happy June and take care. Bye guys. You say bye? Do that again. Bye. Bye. <laughs>